Have you ever wondered how much hardware acceleration on versus off in Discord affects your gaming performance? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what you're going to be exploring. So, most people have Discord open in the background when they're gaming. Um, and it's this little setting over here. Once you go to settings and then you go to advanced hardware acceleration. So in the description it says, turns on hardware acceleration, which uses your GPU to make Discord smoother. Turn this off if you are experiencing frame drops. So in today's video, I'll be benchmarking five different games with hardware acceleration in Discord on versus hardware acceleration in Discord off. So without further ado, let's get to my results. So all my games are tested at medium settings. Uh, where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I used the quality setting. With the exception of Returnal, my laptop is under spec for Returnal, so it's tested at the low settings preset with FSR set to balanced. Then I tested on the latest NVIDIA driver 531.41. All my games are single player games, I don't have any online shooters or multiplayer games, I suck at those. And then I'm using old GTX infrastructure. I've got a GTX 1650 laptop. So let's get to it. With hardware acceleration turned on in Discord, my total FPS over five games was 350 FPS. Divide that by five and my average FPS per game is 70 on the dot. And then I did the same for the 1% lows, added up all the 1% lows and I got a total a 1% low of 226 FPS over the five games, divide that by five, and then my average 1% lows with hardware acceleration on is 45.2. When I divide 45.2 by 70, it gives me a stability percentage or stability reading of 64.57%. Um, and that is due to 531.41 which might be good on RTX cards, but on GTX cards, it sucks. And then lastly, with hardware acceleration off in Discord, over the five games, my total FPS was 351. As you can see, there's a slight little bit of an improvement. Divided by five, and my average FPS per game is 70.2. Nothing to write home about. But my 1% lows is where the difference is. Once I add up all the 1% lows over the five games, my 1% low were 235 FPS, divide by five, and my average 1% lows were 47 FPS per game. So when I divide 47 by 70.2, my stability reading is 66.95%. So guys, there you have it. Um, your results might vary slightly um, I only uh, benchmarked over five games, but you can see on average with hardware acceleration off, you you should be getting the same average FPS, but your 1% lows will be a little bit better and it'll give you 2% extra stability. Not massive, but it's there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. If you got any questions, hit me up in the uh, in the comment section. And if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed, now's the time to do so. Other than that, have a fantastic day. It's people like you. Cheers.